apparently she was really quite creative, quite kind of artistic. And um, one of her sons actually grew up to be an artist. Um, I think she's warm. I think she's political in, 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 in the sense that I think the conversations around the table were intelligent and, and, and heated. She wasn't a career woman, though her daughter actually ended up, her daughter actually ended up marrying um, the Prime Minister that came after Churchill, but I think she, I think she was fundamentally, um, you know, runs a household. She's a mother and a wife and a sister-in-law and a daughter-in-law and a daughter, and I think that that, that was a job. It still is, but I think that that was enough back then. I think he's a little bit like rock and roll, you know, that's what I, I feel like if you were talking about the relationship in modern, you know, times, it would be like dating a, you know, kind of a rock star, like he's, you know, at the cutting edge, he's brave, he's smart, he's, you know, um, yeah, he's cool, actually. My research, um, has found, I think she really was in love with Jack, and um, I think they had a lovely, I think they had a lovely relationship, and I'm not sure if, if, um, I don't know if anything had happened between her and Bartlett then, I, I feel like they were two separate things, and I don't know, Jack had to kind of, he got a job, you know, in a, in a city firm, really, in order to support his brother's career, and both families and I think that probably weird on him they've been married now for you know seven years and you know a couple of kids and I think it was not that it's more excusable then than it is today but I, I kind of understand why she sort of you know has a little fling but at no point is she about to walk away from her marriage or or her children I think it says something about um, us that Gallipoli is, and that Anzac Day is like, that's our big celebration. Um, and that what we're celebrating is the horror. And I think that there's something extremely melancholic, but also very poignant in, in that. And I think that that's what Gallipoli still represents. The fact that it's the 100th anniversary next year is, um, no more important than its 99th, you know. I didn't know this story before I started, before I read this script, and um, information is everything, and we do have a right to know, and I think, I mean, it's like not just WikiLeaks, it's even with social media and the fact that people are kind of getting their news on, on, on Twitter these days, or you can, you know, people tweeting from Syria, and I think it's, I think it's important. People can't hide things the way they used to, and even though we still are kind of inundated with propaganda, it, it's, it's easier to kind of access the truth, and people are more careful. Oh, it's been lovely. Yeah, it's really fun. You sort of, um, yeah, it's always really fun to do that. Beautiful outfits and hair and makeup and especially shooting in these kinds of locations too. You don't sort of get to see them all the time. Yeah. And um, how's it been working with Hugh dancing? He's lovely. We've only got sort of a couple of scenes, but he's lovely, personable and, and very English. <laughs> so excited to meet Michael. I, I, um, I know his work and I think he's fantastic and it's been so smooth and really easy. Churchill's plan to end the war. The west coast of Turkey. Now, the Navy have softened up the Turks by hitting these straits which have allowed us to get some excellent maps and reconnaissance of the area. 